So in this video, we're going to be solving cubics with real coefficients. Now, you will likely be asking, well, I've got a cubic solver on my calculator. Why can't I just use my calculator? And it's going to be consistently going through. There's going to be a lot of these skills that I'm going to show you how to do. And you're going to ask me, why can't I just do it on my calculator? Um, the reason why I'm showing you these skills is showing you how to do them. Um, and the consequence is that then you understand why your calculator is giving you the result that it is. Without that understanding, then you're just mindlessly re repeating some buttons. And when something doesn't go wrong, you're not going to be able to interpret it. OK, so this is why it is important to learn these skills first and then you can build up your uh, use of the calculator. So in this video, we're going to be solving these cubics and I've given you a little bit more information. So rather than just saying solve uh, f of x equals zero, I'm telling you that f of two is zero, OK, in this first case. So that means that as f of two is zero, this means that x minus two is a factor. This is the factor theorem at play. OK, uh, the factor theorem is met in A-level maths, if you haven't come across it yet. So x minus 2 is a factor, which means that we can use polynomial division or inspection in order to write f of x as a product of a linear factor, x minus 2, and a quadratic factor. OK, so I'm going to use polynomial division. So once again, you might not have met these skills yet. This is met in polynomials um, in uh, A-level maths, not uh, rather than further maths. So uh, x is going into x cubed. We get x squared. x squared, lots of minus 2, so minus 2x squared. Uh, I want minus 6x squared, so take away 4x squared, take away 4x. Uh, 8x, I want 37x, and so I'm going to have to have 29x there, so that would be 29. 29 lot, lots of minus 2 is minus 58, which is what I've got there. OK, so that means that I can write f of x as x minus 2 times x squared take away 4x plus 29. So currently, I know one solution of f of x equals 0. I know that x equals 2 is a solution. OK, I know that. But there are also two complex solutions. OK, now, the thing with cubics is that cubic curves um, can go one of uh, three ways. Either you've got three real solutions. OK, uh, well, I say three ways, but actually you could have a few different ways, couldn't you? Let's, let's think about this. You could have three distinct real solutions like that. You could have two real solutions. Ooh like that, okay, where the curve just bounces on the x-axis, and so you get one solution here and one solution here, one repeated real root. Um, you could have the curve doing something like this, in which case there is one real root, okay, and potentially then two complex roots. You could just have one real root and no complex roots. So y equals x cubed is an example of this. It has one real root, x is 0. There are no complex roots. So um, as far as I can see, you've got these four situations um, that could crop up. Now, the situations that we're dealing with are these ones here, where you've got the one real solution and now two complex solutions. The two complex solutions are coming from solving this quadratic being equal to 0. So I look at x squared, take 4x plus 29 is 0. I'm going to complete the square on that, like so. 
So I get x minus 2 squared is equal to, well, that's going to be uh, 25, so negative 25. Uh, square root both sides, we get plus or minus 5i. And so x is 2 plus or minus 5i. And so there are three solutions. One is real, two are complex. Okay, And they are the solutions to f of x equals 0. Right, OK. Let's have a look at number 2. So this time we've got another cubic. Uh, we now know that g of 3 over 2 is 0. So by the factor theorem, this means that uh, 2x minus 3 is a factor of g of x. OK, so I'm going to use polynomial division, 2x minus 3. I need 2x cubed. So 2x into 2x cubed goes x squared, so minus 3x squared. Uh, we need minus 23x squared, so take away 20x squared. So we'll have minus 10x. Uh, so we'd have 30x there. Uh, 88x, so that'd be 58x. And 2x into 58x uh, goes 29. Uh, 29 lots of minus 3 makes the minus 87. OK, so we can write g of x as the 2x minus 3 and the x squared minus 10x plus 29, a product of a linear factor and a quadratic factor. So we know one of the solutions already. x is equal to 3 halves. OK, but what are the complex solutions? So they're going to come from this quadratic being solved, x squared minus 10x plus 29. So if, all oh, equals 0. So if I complete the square on this, x minus 5 squared, take 25 plus 29 is 0. So x minus 5 squared, that gets me 4, so negative 4. Square root both sides, we get plus or minus 2i. And then add 5 to both sides. So x is 5 plus or minus 2i uh, are the two complex solutions and one real solution, x equals 3 halves. OK, and so that's how we can use our mathematical algebraic, or, uh, algebraic, or algebraic skills uh, to solve these cubics rather than just typing them into the calculator.